Hey guys, George MGL Performance here. I built this engine uh, last year for uh, a drift car team. He's called Jay the Drifter. You can follow him on Instagram. He's got all kinds of followers. The kid is uh, just turned 15 years old and he's racing uh, in pro in the Pro Series in Drat and uh, Drift. Uh, it's a 416 cubic inch, aluminum block, 6.2 block with uh, my hand ported uh, rec port uh, Pro Max uh, 260 cc runner cylinder heads. It just came in. They had some issues with um, with tuning the nitrous. Uh, I did a, a leak down over here and uh, it's only leaking about 12%, but I, I feel there is compression coming out of the exhaust ports. So I think they nicked the valve job a little bit with uh, uh, when they leaned out a bit. So we're gonna take it apart and we're gonna do a refresh, new rings. If the bearings look good, they're going back in. If the bearings look a little bit, not as good as I would like to, we're gonna put new bearings in it, uh, do a valve job, and I'm planning to mill the heads at least 20, 30 thousandths to bring up the compression a bit. And that's it. I'll take some videos as I take it apart. The car runs a, a fast LSXR intake with a 250 shot of nitrous. Uh, and we made the 695 horsepower with a Victor Junior intake. It wasn't the greatest of intakes that we had. This is over 700 horse uh, all day long with a Holly split intake manifold. So I think they were making with a dog box uh, 750 at the wheels or something like that uh, on the nitrous. So we did a full season of racing, made every race, never had a problem. They had some tuning problems. As with every new car, they had some electrical problems, this, that. So uh, engine came in now, he said, check it make sure everything is good i trust you let me know what you want to do i started with that cylinder over there and the leak that i'm in is not terrible at 12 percent with an aluminum block but you feel the air coming out of the exhaust valve so we're gonna have to do a hopefully the valves are not bent we'll see um, as we continue taking it apart so i might continue this video as i'm taking things apart Stay all right cool. guys we're continuing over here as I was showing you before on uh, the 416 drift engine that I built last year, it was a new car. Uh, it was a new setup with the nitrous and all that. There was somebody else tuning the car because the iTunes Hall EFI, but they run a link system, which I'm not familiar with. So I said, I'm not tuning it, I don't know the system. And uh, I just spoke with the owner and now I understand the things that I'm seeing. They overheated a few times during races. Uh, they had a fuel, a fuel pump failure, uh, along with a bunch of other stuff on the dyno. There was mistakes being made. And still, everything looks not terrible, but the engine, as you can see, it, it leaned out and overheated. You see some abuse right here. Um, here is actually worse side. There is here. There's some deep scratches over here, due to the fact the engine overheated a few times during a race, and it's always running on nitrous, progressive, and they're always bouncing off the rev limiter. I mean, this thing goes out the track for those three, four minutes or whatever it is. It's on the rev limiter, nitrous on, nitrous off, nitrous on, nitrous off. If it's 200 the temperature, if it's 240, if it's 260. These guys don't really pay that much attention to it, which they should. Um, and you can, I mean, I have engines, the 2000 horsepower small block Chevy that came in for a refresh, looked 10 times better than this. And that was after two years of being 450s many, many times down the quarter mile. So we're just gonna rehome the cylinders. I see a minor, 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 uh, it licked the, the cylinder head a bit so i'm gonna have to give her a little bit more quench and i have a 55 thou gasket 
and the pistons are five below deck or something like that. I had between 55 to 60 thou quench and it still managed to, to lick at the bottom. You see here? So I think I'm just gonna deck the pistons uh, five or 10 thousands and I'm gonna get to use, still use the LS9 head gaskets. As you can see, the head gaskets are, they were literally cooked on the head and the block because of the overheating they did. And uh, that's about it. Everything else, there's a couple of valves that uh, look to have a little bit of a leak down. As you can see here, it just, just licked over here. So, I mean, we wanna be close because it's naturally aspirated plus nitrous, but, you know, I prefer not to lick, to be honest. So, George MGR Performance, I'll take another video, probably today I'm done for the day. Tomorrow when I take the bottom end apart, we'll see what the rods and main bearings have to say, but uh, they have to do something with their catch can because you can see there's oil that's recirculating back into the engine. That's not good for detonation. There's a few things uh, they have to improve for their uh, season 2024. And uh, ideally they should have had a Viking pump this motor, but. George FGR Performance, hit a like, subscribe if you want. So you can keep on following the videos. Have a great day.